Hey, welcome. In this lecture, we are going to create a function in order to store our profile images within the storage. Okay, now to do this, we have to go back to our VS Code and then the controllers and then the auth underscore controller dot dot file. And over here, the first step is to create a function. And you've seen this before. We can call this upload profile image to storage. Okay, and over here we're gonna pass the peak image and small letter high and not a capital letter. And also we can say it's gonna be a type of dynamic, but for this purpose, we can say it's gonna be a type of the U int eight list. And also we can say it can be nor. Great. And in order to store images within the storage directory, we are going to be using a package which we had earlier installed. It is known as Firebase Storage. So what we can do is we can create a variable over here. It's going to be a type of Firebase Storage. And we can call this underscore storage. And it's going to be equal to Firebase Storage base storage then dot instance okay great and now the next step is to create a folder where all our profile images are going to be stored you can see we have already done this before and to do this we then need access to this label you can then say underscore storage then dot ref then dot child and remember this first child is referring to the name of the folder and we can call this profile fix. And the second child is referring to the name of the file, right? And what we can do is we can make the name of the file to be the user UID. So to do this, we can have access to the underscore auth controller, then dot current user, then dot UID. We basically want to make sure the name of the file is going to be the current logged in user or the created user uid great and now we can store the result in a variable called ref and it wants us to specify the type of this variable it is a type of something known as reference great and now we can sorry I'm just gonna take this down now. Okay, sorry, over here, go down. And what we want to do now is to upload the image. To do this, we just have to say ref and dot put data. You can see we also do have the put file, but what we want currently is the put data. And since we are dealing with you in at least put data, and we want to put the image. Okay. And also, we need this over here. And now we can store the results in a variable, and it wants us to store it in a type of something known as upload task and upload task as the variable. And it's going to take some time to upload this image to the storage. And in order to do that, we're going to be using the await. And in order to use the await, we have to use the async over here. And now we can then say await and upload upload task so task okay great and also after uploading the image to our storage we also do want to get the url of that image and then upload it within the cloud faster database right so back to our app okay and also, first of all, we can also store this in a variable. And now it expects us to store it in the type of something known as stack snapshot. And we can call this snap or snapshot. Great. And to get the download URL, all we just have to say is snapshot.ref and .get download URL. 
And also now we can store the download URL or the profile image URL to a variable called download URL. And now it wants us to specify the type and it is a type of string. Sounds good. And also we have to await. Do not always forget this await. It has uh, you don't have to forget the await in the area you have to use it as you're going to get some errors. And finally, we have to return the download URL to ourselves. Sounds cool.